Um, well, I think, um, I don't think I know. I mean, Stanford's a very good basketball team. I thought they showed that today. Uh, defensively, they were very aggressive, and they came out, and they were more the aggressors. And I thought the first time we beat them, we, um, we were the aggressors. We were the ones that came out, and we attacked them, and today they attacked us, and I think that's, um, that was the difference in the game. So they, they rebound very well when they're aggressive, and they had a lot of different people step up, so they have a lot of options, and there's a reason they're you know top five team in the country. Questions? Kathy, they seemed to run really well for a particular spurt. Jane would get the ball in the outlet, and they just kind of went. Was transition defense a tough thing today for you guys? Yeah, I think, um, again, we were working so hard and, and doing everything we could to try to get a basket. When we weren't hit, hitting our baskets, then we crashed the boards hard. And once we did that, then they took advantage of it and got uh, long, long outlet passes and ran the floor well. And they're a team, I mean, we talked about it in the locker room about um, they're a team that likes to run. And when they get on a little bit of a roll, they're very hard to stop. And they look very comfortable today and got in a roll. Lindsay, what did they do differently this time as opposed to down in Westwood? Um, I thought they did a good job of running. Um, you know, they always crashed the boards hard. Um, they did a good job of that. And I just thought their defense, they picked it up. They were more up on us, spotting us up. Um, it usually Stanford's more of a contain you type defense where I thought they were pretty much up in our faces and did a good job defensively on us. Kathy, when Candace is having an off sh off night shooting, you feel like maybe you can catch a break there. It didn't seem to sort of work out that way. Um, yeah, I mean, we talked about that. We, yeah, we know how good Candace Wiggins is. Uh, she's had a great career at Stanford. And, um, she wasn't hitting, and she still makes so many other things happen. I mean, that's what good players do. She's making some things happen for her teammates, and she still got got out on the break. She, you know got after it defensively and they kind of feed off her energy and you know she's she's done some great things for this program or for their program I, and I would say the same about Lindsay I think Plum has done some amazing things at UCLA I mean she started every game in a UCLA uniform she has started since her freshman year for all four years every single game I and mean, how many people can you say that about um, she's like an Iron Man made it an amazing four years. She's been a great leader, and just anything I ask, she's always stepping up. What What do I do now? What You know, what What do you need from me? And I think Wiggins is the same type of player. What would be your thoughts on a third Stanford Cal matchup tomorrow night? I'm not asking you to make a prediction. Off the record. <laughs> yeah, Off the record. For no, 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 no. no prediction. Talk to you uh, after. <laughs> um, I, I think you know Stanford's playing very good basketball right now. They're playing very well. They're um, all contributing, and um, they're crashing the boards hard. And like Plum said, they've really picked it up defensively. Um, same with Cal, though. I think Cal is a very aggressive team. They have great inside uh, post players. Um, and when Vital's hitting for them, they have an inside-outside attack also. So I think both teams have, you know, some very um, talented players, and I think it's going to be a great matchup. And it will be a great finale for Pac-10. You know, good one-two matchup right there. You think you're in the NCAA tournament, or you don't know? Are you from the NCAAs? Uh, Can well, you give us a plug? Where, where do you guys think <laughs> yeah. you're staying? Um, right now, I think we're on the outside looking in, um, but I think this is a great conference, and we're a team that's beaten uh, Stanford, who only has three losses. I mean, there's a reason they beat Tennessee. There's a reason they, you know, beat Rutgers. They've been beating everyone in the country. You know, we're one of their losses. Uh, I think we're a young team. I think we're an explosive team. Hopefully, the NCAA, they look at that, and, you know, I would love that for, for Plum. I think she deserves that, but I don't think it works like that. So I wish that we could have gotten some wins early on, but like I said, you know, we have six freshmen on the floor, and early on we were we played very much like freshmen. We were up and down, you know, in non-conference, and um, I thought we finally got it, you know, going by conference. But, um, I mean, I would love to see the Pac-10 get four teams in. I, I, I don't know if they're going to get that this year. 
Anything else? Okay, thank you.